What's up, Jimmy Fats? Finally coming at you with a Doom gameplay video. This is my first legit video back on the channel in months, and I'm very excited that it's the game I've been most anticipating for this year, 2016. Number one on my list was Doom. Uh, I've been a big Doom fan ever since I was younger. Believe it or not, I was young playing these games. I've always enjoyed playing these games. And uh, out of all the Dooms that they are on incarnations of, Doom, Doom 2, Doom 3, Doom BFG, Final Doom, Doom 64, I'm sure I missed some, but this is hands down the best Doom experience I personally think I've ever had. And just great job uh, by Bethesda, Id, and so on. Uh, this game was everything I've been feeling like I've needed in a game recently. It was very refreshing to play. And if there was any drawbacks to this game, uh, people might want to try to say it's repetitive. But in my opinion, this game's only repetitive if you let it be repetitive for yourself. Between all the weapon choices, including melee and all, uh, the melee option, the glory kills, power-ups like Berserk, which you're seeing right now, the quad damage one, which was just in the previous clip, there's a few other different power-ups you can use and get throughout the game that you pick up. So if this game is repetitive for you, I feel like it's your fault. You're choosing to be repetitive and like on a one-track mind for this game. Um, different difficulty of the demons, the bigger the demons, the harder they fall. You know, it's very fun. There are some very awesome boss battles that are worthy of the term boss battle. Games have been very lacking in that, in my opinion, lately. At least some of these AAA titles. Uh, so that was very refreshing. It was very fun. It was very intense and uh, put you on the edge of your seat. The game moves flawlessly. Uh, I believe almost everyone clocks in at 60 frames per second on no matter what console you're on, and that's pretty freaking cool. Uh, not to mention just how beautiful the level design are, the character designs, the game designs, if you will. Um, all the monsters look fantastic. The weapons look fantastic. Everything. Uh, I like the addition, of course, which is the classic Doom of the collectibles, the secret areas. Um, there are secret levels that you can find that look like the original Doom levels, so it's like you're doing a modern Doom guy in these classic Doom levels. That is an awesome touch. Uh, I really don't have nothing really too bad to say about the game. Um, it's not perfect. Um, rarely is a game perfect. If I had to give it a number review, say 1 through 10, I'd give it an 8.5. Uh, like I said, it's not, it's not amazing, it's not perfect, but it is amazing. I'm not going to say it's not amazing. But it's not perfect. It's uh, to me, it's a very amazing game. It's a great game. It's replayable. Play it on the harder difficulties if you want. I did try it out a little bit on uh, the hardest difficulty, Ultra Nightmare. And if you're looking for punishment, that is the difficulty for you. Uh, now this is just single player. This is a multiplayer snap map. The single player itself gets an 8.5 out of 10 for me. Um, Multiplayer's not half bad, don't get me wrong. Um, it does feel like the older it games, like, you know, uh, Quake and stuff. Uh, very fun. But uh, I wanted to get this out there. Give my subscribers, you know, my opinion of this amazing video game. So, this is Doom 2016. Uh, very worth the $60. I recommend going to pick it up, play it, beat it yourself. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you've already played it, let me know what you think about it. Highly recommend it. Hope there's a sequel. But until next time, Jimmy Fats out. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys.